Hello, welcome to Dating Data. What is your name? Hi, my name's Abby Titmus. How do we know you? I'm an actress and I've also been a model and a TV presenter. What's your relationship status? I am currently single. Who would you most like to take on a date? Marilyn Monroe. Because <laughs> I just think she'd be really interesting. Did you graduate from college as a virgin? Uh, no. I didn't graduate from school as a virgin. <laughs> Golly, what's the most romantic thing anyone has ever done for you? When I was at school, I think I was about 13, uh, a, a guy from the boys' school who was older than me, a couple of years older than me and, and liked me, uh, was trying to woo me. Um, and there was a knock at the door one Saturday. Mum said, Abby, it's for you. And I opened the front door on the street, you know, in front of full view of everybody. And there was Gordon, was his name, with his curly hair and his guitar, curly hair on his head, and his guitar. And he serenaded me outside my house. And he just stood there. And I held the door open and he went, Abigail. And then he went into this full verse. He finished. I went, thanks, Gordon. And I shut the door. And my mum was really cross and she said, you should have asked him in for tea. I'm sure Gordon would have loved tea and crumpets. Have you spoken with him again? I haven't spoken to him again, but Gordon Hewitt, I'd love to hear from you because you had some balls. Abby, what's the most romantic thing you have ever done for somebody? <laughs> I once baked a pie for a boyfriend on his birthday and I wrote his name in, in pastry and his age. I thought that was quite sweet. What is the main difference between men and women? Men's brains are smaller. Ouch! Do you think that men should take the lead romantically? I like men to take the lead romantically. I don't think there's anything wrong with a woman making the first move or, or being romantic if she wants to, and I, and I do. But I think, you know, we all at the end of the day want the, the knight in shining armour on a white horse. Would a brown horse do? If they turned up on a brown horse and they were fit, I still would. What are your views about marriage, Abby? I have quite mixed feelings about the institution of marriage. These days, it seems that everyone gets married, you know, in five minutes, then divorces equally quickly. So there's not a lot of respect for it anymore, I don't think. But personally, I would like to get married and marry one person, and that will be for life. A bit like a lobster. Do you get on with lobsters, then? I actually once killed a lobster. <laughs> it was in Hell's Kitchen. Gordon Ramsay made me do it. You were previously a nurse. Do nurses make better girlfriends? I don't think they do for the simple reason that A, we're always knackered and B, we have to work usually two weekends out of four and night shifts. But we're great in an emergency, obviously. What about actresses? Actresses probably make the worst girlfriends because you're, you can be insecure, needy. One minute you're high as a kite because you've done really well. The next minute you're, you're in tears. Or is that just me? What wouldn't you tolerate on a date? I think bad personal hygiene. Carrying a weapon. <laughs> I wouldn't look too, too kindly on that. <laughs> What's your number one tip in the bedroom? Don't be selfish. What advice do you have for modern daters? Be clean. Uh, be considerate. Men, open doors. But don't be chauvinistic, if that makes any sense. Thank you, Abby. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>